Hey everyone, on May 31st, we have an event here at Word of Life Church called A Night of Miracles with Kelly and Sino. Now, Warrior Nation, you know exactly what I'm talking about, how God is on the move all throughout this ministry. But we really feel like that this event uh, is going to be a turning point where things just kick up to a level that they've never been to before in every single way. What God is doing through Sino and Kelly and through this ministry that God is just exalting and promoting in the earth. I, I think he's pouring out his spirit in a way that is absolutely unique in this season. You don't want to be on the other side of the state or the other side of the world or the other side of the planet when this event happens. You want to get here to Jackson, Mississippi, whatever it costs, whether it's a drive or an airline ticket. So I know I'll be here. We want to see you here as well. May 31st, 6 p.m. at Word of Life Church. We hope to see you here. Good morning. Can't believe it's Friday. Mm, yes. We got a big day today and tomorrow. True, true, true. And then we got a big month, <laughs> the true. month of May. But oh, I'm excited. Good morning. Oh, you didn't know we were live? No, I had no you idea. You weren't listening. I had no idea we were live, but I was listening. You I was, said, oh. oh. No, I was listening to what you were saying. Good yes. morning, people. How y'all doing? How y'all doing? They're blessed. They are blessed and highly favored. I know you are because we speak it over you every day. You can't help Absolutely. but be blessed. Absolutely. Yeah. Hold What's hanging? Here. Let me get this little thing that was hanging. Thank you. Yes. Was that a piece of my fro or that was my hairband? Oh, it's still hanging. That's, is that my hair you pulling? Yes. Yeah, don't the pull hair. my hair. I hear you it. pull my hair out. No, I don't know. Yeah, Baby, yeah. you can't be pulling these luxurious curls out. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, y'all. Good morning, good morning. <laughs> How y'all doing, by the way? How y'all doing? I know, um, God, we give you praise. Yes, and glory. Lord, so excited. Day. Oh my goodness, we got something to share with y'all too. Yeah. Uh, sometime during the message today, something that happened last night that we want to share. Yeah, truly. Um, but let's make type in our confessions, and we have good news today. I'm gonna tell y'all about that too. Okay, that is good. We're gonna do our confession before I tell them the good news. Uh, yeah, we're gonna do a confession. <clears throat> you got a good news? 
Yes, we got good news. Okay. I always have good news. All right, that's good. Well, at the count of two, let's do it. One, two, go. This, this is, is the day, day that, that the Lord, Lord has made. made. I, I will, will rejoice and be glad in it. it. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord Let's Jesus. go ahead and type in our confessions. Absolutely. Type in our happy faces. Let's share this video, y'all. Type some confessions in about yourself. You're flying. You're blessed. All that. Today is your day. This is your week. Very excited about everything that God is doing. Amen. Let's confess it one more time. Are y'all ready? Okay. One, two, Thank go. Thank you, Lord. This is the day that, that the, the Lord, Lord has made. made. I, I will rejoice and be glad in it. it. Thank you, Lord okay. God. Let's type in our confessions this morning. Amen. Good morning to everyone. Good morning, Darius. We love you very much. Yes. We love you, Tome. Make sure y'all are typing in green hearts to remember to keep thanking God for Tome's healing. So let's make sure we're typing that in. And make sure you're typing in that you're blessed to be a blessing. We're going to be Amen. talking about that to um, be a today. Blessing. God is so amazing, y'all. I'm just, he is just really doing some amazing things. Absolutely, absolutely. Man, so we're going to talk God about that today. Good. All right, we're going to go ahead and get the share clock up. Let's yes. get this video shared. Sure then we're going to tell y'all the good, I've got some good news to share. All right, so are y'all ready? Keep confessing. Thank you for typing in that you share. Continue to share. And let's do this thing this morning. Yeah, I like Amen. this. They are laughing and posting. Amen. Beautiful. Instagram, make sure you, there you go. It's beautiful. I like Absolutely. that one. What is that? Faith something circle. I couldn't hardly see it. But I like what you did, how you decorated the timeline. That's beautiful. Thank you. Wow. Yeah, that's y'all doing a great job. Awesome. All wow. right. 60 seconds on the clock. Okay. All right. 60 seconds on the clock at the We're count of two. Video, one, two, go. All right. It's the countdown. Let's share. Lord Jesus. Come on, y'all. Praise you, God. Lord God. Lord, Let's see who's sharing. Saying. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Okay. Thank you for saying you share. Thank you, thank Absolutely. you, thank you. Yes, thank you so much. Everybody's typing in that they Everybody's share. Everybody's sharing. Thank you, Lord. Let's keep sharing. Let's we got keep sharing. Five, five seconds. seconds. As you're sharing, Let's we're going to just start praying. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And so, God, we just thank you uh, for... Uh, Everybody, Hit Father, the button, uh, from the north, from the east, from the south, from the west, yes, God, just Lord. people Thank from you, all Lord. over the world who are going to truly tune into our live feed or video, archive God. feed, God. Thank um, you, Lord. They're going to come across today, this Lord. video. So use it, God, to speak to your people. Yes. Use it to change, heal, deliver, set free. Yes, Lord. Open a door, meet everybody at the point of their need. Yes, Lord. God, we just thank you, most especially those who have not known you, may they come through you, you yes, Lord. We claim their souls uh, through this you, video, Lord. God. Thank so you, we Father. claim these souls yes, Lord. for you right now in the name yes, of the Lord, Lord Jesus. We thank you for it. We decree and declare it done. Yes. God, we just use this moment to welcome the presence we and welcome the person you, Holy Spirit. Come on, of the Nation. Holy Spirit. Let's Come and the Holy take Spirit your rightful morning. place. Exalt yes. the Thank name you, of Lord. Jesus. Lift up the name of Jesus. Glory to your name, Extol Father. the name of Jesus. Make him known. Yes. Make him famous, God. Reveal him to your people. Glory to your name, We just Lord ask, Jesus. God, that every person who tuned in this morning will not leave the same yes, way they Lord. came, Let God. Just meet forever. everybody at the point of their need. God, yes, we trust Lord. you that this is what will happen this morning. Yes, Lord. In Jesus' mighty in name. In Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Amen. All right. Let's just spend a couple more seconds welcoming in the Holy Absolutely. Spirit. I feel like the Holy Spirit wants to do something incredible this okay, morning. Okay, that's good. Hey, Warrior Nation, just type in Holy Spirit, we welcome you. Something like that. Just type it in. Holy Spirit, why don't you just welcome take you. over this morning? Absolutely. We welcome you this morning. Absolutely. Uh, speak to us this morning. Yes, Lord Jesus. It's like there's something that you want to do this yes, morning. Yes, Lord Jesus. Something that you want to say. Yes, Lord. And so we just take this moment. We're not in a hurry. Yes, we Lord welcome Jesus. you we in. Welcome you in. Have, Lord. Your way. Have your way. You know what every single person is going through this morning. You know where every single one of us are. You know yes, where every Lord. single one of us are headed. And we just want to say thank you this morning. Yes, Lord And we Jesus. just ask you to have your way. Have your way, Lord. Our ears are itching for a word from the throne room. Yes, Lord Give Jesus. us hearts that will obey. Yes, Lord We're just Jesus. ready. We're in receiving mode this morning. Yes, Lord We are Jesus. expecting this morning. Anybody yes. expecting this morning? Yes. We're not just here to hang out. Yes, We're here Lord to receive Jesus. a word from you, instructions from you. We know that there's a miracle on the side of every set of instructions. Yes, Lord And so Jesus. as you give those instructions today, I feel like you're going to release instructions today. Yes. That you're really going to move on the hearts of your people today, Amen. Lord. And so we thank you that we will respond. Yes, Lord We will Jesus. have the faith response. Yes, we Lord will Jesus. have the right attitude. Yes, Lord Jesus. In Jesus' name we in pray. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Type in and say, I will have the right response. Amen. Response Amen. is so important. I will have the right response. I will have the right attitude. Make sure you're confessing it and be mindful of that in everything Amen. that we do. I'm going to have the right Amen. attitude. I'm going to have the right response, okay? Amen. All right. I All got right. It. Okay, let me tell them the good news now. So, okay. I'm just excited. I'm very thankful because tomorrow, Warrior Apparel turns two years old. Wow. Amen. Um, we started April 27th of 2017, and here we are uh, celebrating tomorrow two years. 
And God has just done a great work and he's just getting started good with us. So wow. I'm very thankful to celebrate today from now until 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. We're discounting the entire store where you can save 30% wow. Wow. if you only spend $100. Wow. And the code is birthday. All wow. right? Just birthday. So if you don't mind, you can type in and wish Warrior Apparel a happy birthday. Man, it's been a journey. I'm yeah. It has been a true journey for those who've been with us a long time. This started, Warrior Apparel was birthed out of our prayer room. Some yeah. of you all have been with us just that long. I took a room in my house, the upper room in my house, renovated it the best we could. Brittany and I painted it. It was a terrible paint job. But we prayed in that room. We prayed in that room. And next thing you know, the store was born from that very room. We shipped out our first packages from that prayer room. And I just will never stop thanking God for what he has Amen. done and how he has sustained us. And now I just feel like we're in a really, really creative season and we're only going higher. Amen. And I want to say thank you to everyone who's ever purchased from Warrior Apparel. And I just ask everybody, just go, go by the day and get something and just speak a blessing over us because what you're making happen for us, you're also making happen for yourself. Amen. So I want to say thank you, thank you, thank you for every prayer cloth you bought, every tumbler, every blanket, every t-shirt. If we jacked up your order, thank you. You gave us another chance. Hey, we were learning. We're still learning. So we just want to say thank you. So from now until 10 a.m., using the code BIRTHDAY, if you only spend $100, you can save 30%. And then we'll be doing pop-up sales throughout the weekend just to celebrate what God has done. Amen. I'm very thankful. Well, I'm proud of you. I'm very thankful, y'all. very proud Smiling of from ear to ear. you all. Very proud of Warrior Apparel. And um, I believe in wearing the word of God. So thank God for what he has done. And let me say this one more time. This has been so hard. Oh, <laughs> I'll tell you. I know everybody look easy, but anybody on the team, my husband, he comes in, he helps. There is nothing about this that is easy, but it's God's grace. Like, I don't want people to think it's just so easy. This was, we didn't know how to do anything. We have learned. That's why empire is so important. Yes. Because we, we turn around and then we teach you what we've learned. So just thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Go over there and shop today. You know, and I'm feeling like, um, I, I don't know, I don't think I'll call this a, a Rema word. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's a word of wisdom. Okay. Um, that, you know, something incredible is going to happen. At some time today, God is going to open a, a portal, a, a window, an opportunity for you to assess this opportunity. There are a lot of you, if the Spirit is bearing mm. witness with you, just let us know uh, so that you know we're not just making these words up. Mm -hmm. You know in your heart you're supposed to start a business. Mm. You know in your heart you're supposed to start multiple streams of income mm -hmm. And those of you who have not started or those of you who are in the beginning stages of starting, you know that you know that you know in your heart that I am one of those, that God is asking to start another stream of income, mm -hmm. multiple streams of income, a new business. Yeah. I'm telling you right now, just so into the warrior apparel and, yeah. and let that wisdom come to you. Let that idea come to you. And not just the idea. Mm -hmm. Let the know-how come to you. How do I even do it? The wisdom to do it. Not only the wisdom to do it, the team that yeah. God will bring to you to do it. This is all the stuff that you're sowing into this morning. So this is not for everybody. But for those of you who your spirit is bearing witness. Yes, I am one of those that I, I feel like I'm, I, I've got to do something else. I've mm -hmm. got to do something more. Yeah. I've got to do something additional to what I'm already doing. I know that God has spoken to me about this. You need wisdom. You need insight. You need ideas. Creative I'm strategies. telling you right now, Kelly started, you, you've heard her story, with you know, nothing. from her prayer room. With no money. With no, with, no money. With no, not even the knowledge <laughs> of how to run a, a clothing store, a clothing business. None of that. They had to learn it the hard way. Oh, yes. So into it and trust me, I know God is going to come through for you. This year, God talk, talk, spoke to us very clearly. The year of elevation. Yeah. God is going to pull multitudes out of dead Thank end you, jobs Jesus. and plug them into uh, multi-million dollar businesses. Yes. So and he can so, do it in one year, so six I, months. I tell you, I tell you, you um, get to it now, all right? Get to it. Those who have ears to hear, let them hear what the Spirit of the Lord is saying. And I'll add saying. this, because there was a time when I didn't feel comfortable, but now I'm, I'm past that. I, I brag on the Lord. Within six months of the birth of Warrior Apparel, we had grossed over $1.3 million. Okay? Six months. Six months. I had to leave my job, because otherwise we were going to drown. And I just want to say, that's what you're sowing into. You know, there was a time when I didn't feel comfortable, but I'm beyond that. It is my legal right to be blessed. 
So with that being said, it's your legal right too. Amen. You better go over there and order your t-shirt or something and say, Lord, I thank you. I'm sewing into this. We didn't know anything. We did this with just a few shirts. I'm telling you, y'all already know. Most of you know the story. All so, right. yes, so into it. Yeah, so if, if you know that we are talking to you this morning, get into it. That's not even what we are teaching yeah, about. Yeah, I just had to throw right? it out there. But um, let's get into it. Now, Spirit of God, we thank you that you're already here. Amen. Just breathe upon the people. Yes, Lord. Breathe upon the word in Jesus' name. Now, we want to briefly just round up everything that we've talked about this week. I know we've talked about the communion, the body of Jesus, the blood of Jesus, and all of that. But we just want to round it up. It's Friday the end of the weekend, and of course today, uh, Kelly's going to be leading a prayer at the stadium, the Mississippi Memorial Stadium, at 7 p.m. U.S. Central Time, um, and also tomorrow, a big event. She's going to be addressing our online audience, so that's really powerful, and we thank God for that. Mm -hmm. But today, we want to talk about the four characteristics of a woman or a man mm -hmm. after God's own heart. Yes. We want to talk about how do you define a woman how do you define a man after God's own heart? Because this is where we're going to. This is where we're pressing in for the night of miracles. Yeah. God is raising a generation of people who are after his own heart, who are after what he's after, who, who, is, who are consumed with God's agenda, consumed with the expansion of the kingdom of God. They want to see things happen in the earth to bring the name of Jesus yes. on the center stage. So yes. this is what we want to talk about, all right? Four things. Number one, we find this in John chapter 17, verses 3. John 17, verses 3, and it reads, And this is life internal, okay? That they may know you, the only true God, yes. and Jesus Christ whom thou hast sent. This is life internal. In other words, the essence of life itself is to know yes. the Lord Jesus Christ. Yes. That is the essence. For me to live is Christ, Christ and, and to die, die is gain. Is gain. Mm -hmm. And I'm telling you right now, we live in a Canaanite culture. We live in an, in, in, in an Egyptian culture, in a mm -hmm. worldly culture that tends to create the opposite, that teaches us to chase after stuff, right. chase after, after the mundane, rather than chasing after God, yeah. seeking after God with all of our heart, with all of our soul, with all of our might, with all of our mind. God is raising a generation of women after God's own heart, mm -hmm. a generation of daughters after God's own heart, a generation of young men, yes. old men after God's yeah. own heart. Yes. Are you listening to what mm -hmm. we're saying? You haven't started living till your pursuit is all about knowing Thank him. Thank you, Lord Jesus. The true essence of why you're here is to know him. It's a progressive revelation of who God is. Let me paint that picture for you very clearly. Moses had seen all the wonders of God. Mm -hmm. He saw miracles upon miracles. He saw the Red Sea part into two. He, right. he saw, this was a man, the Bible says, God will come down in the glory cloud and speak to him face to face. Yeah. How, how good can it get? Right. And yet, at the end of his life, there was one cry. Lord, show me your glory. Amen. The Hebrew Thank doesn't you, say, Lord. show me your glory. The literal Hebrew translation says, show me what your face looks like. Yeah, show me your face. Yes, Lord. Right? That's Amen. why God told him, you have asked for a very hard thing. <laughs> Nobody can see this face in their mortal flesh and live. Mm -hmm. It's not possible. The glory will literally consume you. Mm -hmm. It will fry you up. I can't let that happen. So when he said, God, show me your glory. He said, show me. He said, I want to know you. Yes, show me your face. Show me, Lord. God says, you've asked for a hard th thing. But he says, I'm going to show you parts of me. Mm -hmm. Okay. And God showed him his back parts. And that's a whole new revelation we can't even get into right now. I'm not a, we're not going to go there. Okay? Yeah. Thank God, Moses, the greatest revelation that Moses had about God is his back parts, mm -hmm. back, back parts, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So his back part is a veil. Okay. He didn't see his face. Yeah. In, in Christ, in the New Testament, we see God in the face of Jesus Christ. Right. So we saw a greater glory than Moses saw. Right. That's a whole different message. The point is, he was crying out for the glory of God. Mm -hmm. Paul, 
the greatest apostle that has ever lived so my today. determined purpose is to know you. Thank you, baby. I he had that. seen it all. He had raised people from the Lord, dead. My purpose is to know you. Yes. He had raised people from the yeah. dead. He has seen every miracle you can think of. He literally turned the world upside down. He had been everywhere winning Glory souls to, to I mean, the man wrote two thirds of the New Testament. Right. Two thirds. Yes. And yet at the end of his life, what was his one cry? You said it. My determined purpose is to know you. To know you, to know you, to know the power of your resurrection and the fellowship of your sufferings. And, and what I've learned with the store, with the ministry, with everything that we're doing now, it didn't come with, my objective was, ne honestly, was not even to start a store or make money. Everything that we're doing now, the way God has us just seeding, undergirding, it was never about making money. It was about knowing the Lord and understanding what he would have us to do to impact the kingdom. Amen. So my point is, like, the focus was not on that. It was the implementation of Matthew 6 and 33, that when you really decide, you know what, I could use a new car, I could use a new house, all, all that's great. But more than anything, Lord, I just want to know you. And when that's your deepest, most sincerest cry, Man. God's going to do even more than that. I'm telling you when, you, when you get into a place, and what I've come to discover in church, honestly, a lot of people have settled. They're, mm -hmm. they're in what I call a maintenance mode. Mm -hmm. There is no true pushing, pressing, getting in there to know him, getting mm -hmm. into his word, not to fill ahead just with knowledge, but to know him in mm -hmm. his word. So one of the first characteristics is to know him. That's mm -hmm. what life is all about. Mm -hmm. Secondly, in verses four, we see the second characteristic of a man or a woman after God's own heart. Heart. It says, I have glorified thee on the earth. I have glorified thee on the earth. I have glorified thee on the earth. So the second one is a woman or a man out there who is all about Wanting to see the name of Jesus mm -hmm. glorified. Mm -hmm. You want to see his name glorified in your community, mm -hmm. in your neighborhood, in your county, in your city, when you in your really state. really want to put God on display. I'm telling you, in your nation, you mm -hmm. want to see him glorified. Mm -hmm. You want to see him lifted. Mm -hmm. You want to see Who him. Wants to see that? You just want to see. You are consumed with this, this insatiable need to want to see the name of Jesus yeah, glorified. Yeah, who wants to see Hallelujah. that? Hallelujah. Yes. When we pray for the sick, it's not about so that people can no. say, you guys can heal the it's sick. So the we want to see Jesus glorified. Mm -hmm. Okay, this Saturday, we're going to be preaching to over 60,000 people Please, in a stadium. Why? We want to see the name of Jesus glorified. Yeah. Lord, we give you praise. Yes, the third Lord. one is right in that same verse. I have glorified thee on earth. That's John 17, 4. And the third one says, I have finished the work which thou gavest me to do. And that is somebody who's always saying, God, I'm going to finish. I'm going to finish what I started. What I started. Mm. I'm going to finish. I am going to bring to completion the end of my calling. Mm -hmm. Whatever that goal is, the mm -hmm. reason why it exists. Who's the reason to finish Why it? you made Absolutely. me. I want to finish yeah. strong. Come on, who I want to finish, finish strong? strong. Mm -hmm. I want to finish strong. Jesus was always consumed. With the end game. You know, those of you who went to watch the Marvel, like my brother-in-law went at 12 midnight. midnight to watch the Marvel. I had friends there. They were the first in the theater. It's called the end game. What is the end game of your life? To finish the assignment. That's it. To complete your destiny calling. And you won't settle for anything less and than you that. And you won't settle. That you become so determined. You won't, you won't get trapped in maintenance mode. You yeah. are pushing. Come on, who's you pushing are growing this glory from yeah. glory to glory. Yeah. You are just going higher and higher and higher in the things of the Spirit, yeah. in the things of God. We just pray for you right so now. I will finish strong. And we pray over the entire Warrior Nation yes, family Lord. that in the name of Jesus, yes. that calling that God has entrusted on, you into your hands, that destiny, the picture that God has painted, this is what he has for your life, all of that. You will never lose sight of it. You will chase after it with everything that you've got. You will put your heart on the line yes, for Lord it. Yes, Lord Jesus. In the name yes, of yes, Jesus. Yes. Come on, let me hear somebody on, shout a yes, big, Lord. big, big hallelujah, hallelujah. to that. Hallelujah. Lord, we hallelujah, give you Lord. praise and glory praise. Yes, Lord. in Jesus' mighty name. Yes, Lord. Ooh. Thank you, Lord. And whew, I just felt the glory of God. Can we just pray, baby? Yes.
I call forth the destiny in your mm. womb. I call forth that calling that has been lying dormant. I it's break you out of morning. every entrapment, every snare. I just break you out of every, every vicious yes. cycle that leads to nowhere. Yeah. We set your foot on solid yes, ground for good. in the name yes, of the Lord, Lord Jesus. Make progress. Yes. In the name Come of on, Jesus, I'm making progress. move I'm making forward. Progress. I'm Make progress. Forward. I'm move forward. Thank you, Lord God. In the name of Jesus, you, you are Jesus. going, You're going somewhere, somewhere to happen. Declare we it decree over your life it now over somewhere. you in the Lord, name of Jesus. You. I command your yes. spirit to make progress. Yes. In the name of Jesus. I command your mind to make yes. progress. Yes. I command your every part of you, your final, yes, everything Lord about God. your Thank life. You, move and make progress yes. right now. Break out of that shell. Yes. We'll break break out, out of out everything that has kept you trapped. Yes. In the name yes, of Lord. Jesus. Thank you, Father. You are the salt of the earth. You are the light of the world. Glory to you your are name, not Lord hidden God. under a bushel. You are a city set on a in yes. the name of Jesus, yes, Lord. take your rightful place, your rightful place right now yes. in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Lord. We speak that over you. In the name of you Jesus, will receive finish that. Strong. You will finish. You will finish strong yes. in Jesus' mighty name. I really like that. I'm making progress. I'm traveling. Amen. I'm going somewhere. Amen. I'm making progress. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm talk traveling. about that. Let them type that I'm in. I'm going somewhere. Let, let's declare that right I'm now. I'm making progress. I'm traveling. I'm traveling. I'm, I'm going, going somewhere. somewhere. You gotta under, You need to declare that every single day. I Ooh. am making progress. I am traveling. I am going, going somewhere. somewhere. There has been an upgrade in my thinking. There's been an upgrade in my mindset. God is releasing creative strategies to me. Man, you got to keep saying this. Lord, I thank you that I'm yes, going Lord. somewhere. Yes, prophesy Lord. to the walls in your yes, house. Lord. You will stretch out. Prophesy to the walls in your you business. To you the will left. stretch break out. To the right. You got to speak it over your in life. In the name of Jesus. That the place of your, in your place, your territory is being enlarged. Your tent is being enlarged. Yes, Lord. You better put on some shoes and march around your yes, house. Lord. Type it in. I'm marching. I'm, marching. I'm, moving. I'm moving. I'm going somewhere. I'm going somewhere. Just somewhere. say it with me. I'm marching. I'm, marching. I'm moving. I'm, I'm moving. going somewhere. I'm it might going sound somewhere. silly, yes. but just like with the walls of we Jericho, that, and the God. people were told to march we around that wall, God. and it looks silly, but in the end, it didn't look silly at all. Yes. It might look silly right now, yes, but Lord keep marching. Jesus. Yes. People might be laughing at you right now. Keep marching. Yes, just Lord. keep moving. Say, you know what? I'm going somewhere. I'm breaking out of this. I'm not going to be stuck in this poverty mindset. God is shifting me. He's moving me, and I'm going to march. If I gotta march around my kitchen yes. until I see a breakthrough, it's Hallelujah. so much. It's so much in there. I can't tell me how I march around the house. Hallelujah. And it seems silly, Hallelujah. but it's, it's it's spiritual and it's symbolizing what's happening in the spirit. Amen. You better start marching. We're warriors. Get your boots on and start marching. Amen. Thank you, Lord you know, Jesus. We've talked about the four characteristics of a woman, a daughter, a man, a son after God's own heart. Number one, Glory. the Bible says this is life internal that I may know him. And yes. it's a progress, the, know you, the unceaseless pursuit yeah. of God's presence. Yes. All right. The, um, listen to this. The, the ceaseless, undying pursuit of God's presence. Mm -hmm. You're just chasing. That's the most important thing. Moses did it, Paul did it, they'd seen it all, mm -hmm. but yet their one cry above all, um, that I may know you, mm -hmm. show me your glory. Yes, Lord. God, may that be the cry Hallelujah. of the warrior nation. Show us your family. glory, Lord God. May your face be what we seek yes, after, God. Lord. May we seek Not after things. your heart. In the name you. of the Lord Thank Jesus, you, Lord we Jesus. just prophesy that over the entire world nation. There is an insatiable hunger to go after him, to follow hard after yes, him, Lord God. to chase hard after him, yes, to Lord. press hard yes, into Lord him. Jesesus. In the name, in the name of, of Jesus, Jesus. we are not going to be bombarded by yeah. the cares of this yes, world. Lord, we are chasing you, a bigger Thank vision, you, the vision of God, the heart of God, yes, Lord God. in the name of Jesus. And the second thing is to glorify him, John 17, 4. And how do you do that? We glorify him because, by bringing pleasure, by bringing delight, fullness, to him, bringing, yes, bringing pleasure to the Father's heart, delighting ourselves him. You, in Lord. him, jumping like Masking little children, dancing around his flying throne, in his just flying in his presence. <laughs> Thank you, Lord yes, Jesus. Lord Jesus, bringing pleasure <laughs> yes. through our life of obedience, yes. through our life Thank of you, worship in the name of Jesus. Yes. And the third one, to finish the assignment finish it, that he has given yes, to us. Lord. Father, we thank you for it. And the last and final one, we see that in verses 6. This is one of my favorite ones. It says in John 17, 6, I have manifested thy name unto the men oh, which boy. thou gavest me out of the world. Thine they were, and thou gavest them me, and they have kept thy word. The key word there is manifested. I have manifested thy name yeah. to the people, to the men that you have given to me out of this world. Who has God given to you out of this world? 
Who are the people that God has assigned to you in your lifetime? Your goal is to reveal the Messiah to them, to manifest him, not just to talk about him, yeah. but to manifest him yes. in truth and in deed, in word and in actions. You've got to manifest him. Yes. Our prayer is we want to manifest you, Lord. We want to reveal Glory you to, to this name. generation. We want to reveal yeah, him to come humanity. On, that's our assignment. Let me read this. This is yes. the message version yes. of piece of five going into six. And the message says, I glorified you on earth by completing down to the last detail what you assigned Sign me, me to, to do. do. Let me read that one more time. This should be our prayer this morning, Warrior Nation. Mm. I glorified you on earth by completing down to the last detail what yep. you assigned Sign me, me to, to do. do. May we complete Wow. Down to the last detail. detail, what God has assigned us to do in the earth realm. And then it says, and now, Father, glorify me with your very own splendor, the very splendor I had in your presence before there was a world. Mm. It says, oh, I spelled verse out six, your character. This is beautiful. This is it. This is what I wanted to read. I spelled out your character in detail. Ooh. Hmm. I spelled out your character in detail to the men and women you gave me. Mm. They were yours in the first place. Then you gave them to me, and they have now done what you said. Amen. I, I love that so much. I spelled out your character hmm. to the men and women that you... That's what it means to manifest them. Manifest them in clarity. Manifest them in such clarity that nobody knows. mistakes him for anything yes, else. You reveal you his him out true detail. self in Thank the you, name Lord of Jesus. Jesus. How many of you want to spell out the character yes, of Christ Lord. to your family? You want to spell out the character of Christ to your, to your neighbors, colleagues, your neighbors, communities, to the nation. But God has yes, called the Lord. warrior nation to, to spell, spell out, out his, his character, character to the world. We've been called to do that. To the nations Love of that. the earth. Yes. To spell out his when character. When we show up, everybody knows that we're spelling out his character in and this full is, detail. And this is why a big part of what we do is pressing into him. Because the only way you're going to take on that character is to spend time, to spend time, time, time in his presence. A lot of time in his yes. presence. And it's 633. Let's I'm type telling that in. Then we'll absolutely. talk about the example after the prayer. Yes. Okay. Yes, yes. It's 633. Y'all, let's 633. type that in. Hallelujah. Let's God. This is so good this morning. Lord, we Amen. thank you. Lord, we just want to thank, thank you, Lord, you Father. For Matthew chapter 6, verse 33, that if we seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, God, we just pause right now with so much reverence in your presence, with so much awe as we, we sit and stand right here in your presence, God. We just stand in awe and declare it's all about you. Always has, always will, always will be all about you, Father. I, I see through your lens, the warrior nation right now, the cry in their heart to come after you, to go after you, to make you their, their God yes, in truth Lord. and in spirit. Yes. God, we want you more than anything else, more than life itself. God, may that mantle of power, may that mantle of your presence, it, 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 the time has passed where we just explain you now, God. Yes, we have Lord. to manifest, manifest you. you. We have to reveal you as you are yes, Lord in Jesus. power and in glory. We have to reveal you to the world. Yes, Lord. God, that is our cry. May we reveal you to the yes, world. Yes, Lord. Type May we spell nation. out your, your character, character in, in detail, detail I love to the that. world. Thank you, Lord. God, we bless your holy name. Come on, how many people are yes, praying Lord. that? Come so on, God, let nation. every aspect yes, of our Lord. lives line up. Yes, Lord. Those aspects of our life that have not fully lined up, God, right now, let them line up. Yes, Lord. Our thoughts, let it line up. Our emotions and desires, God, let it line up. Everything about us, God, let it line up. Yes, Lord. To spell out the character of Jesus yes, to the world. Yes, Lord Jesus. We thank you for it we right now. We thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Whew. Amen. Glory to God. Man, I'm, I'm going to complete down to the last detail what you assigned me to do. I'm telling you, to the and last detail. And your character will be displayed in full detail. Like, that is so, so powerful. I spelled out your character in detail to the men and women you gave me. Amen. And everybody has been assigned to influence somebody else. Amen. Everybody has been assigned some men and some women. Thank you. You know, I don't want you to think that you got to have a, a podium or a pulpit to do that. No. Your life is a ministry. Your Everybody's life watching itself you. is a ministry. Yes. I tell people, worship, everything is worship. I want that to sink in. Everything is worship. Everything you do 
should be worshipped. Yes. So we bless God for that. Now, we want to um, share something with We want to share a testimony very quickly. Mm -hmm. um, last night, we had gone to the radio station to do a few things there. And then we came back and what did we do? We went to... Uh, well, we, I lost my purse. Yeah, she lost her purse and, you know... And when it was found, it was untouched, which I knew yes, it would be because yeah. it's protected. Yeah. But I, I left my purse at the radio station. And we didn't realize it until... But you know, had I not left... Oh, God. Had I not left the purse... We, oh, this, Lord. This, this wouldn't have happened. Oh, it's true. <laughs> wait a minute. Let me, let me gather true. myself. Okay. I realized three hours later, four hours later, that I left my purse. So we were backtracking where my purse might be. At the same time that we started looking for the purse, we got a call. And I didn't answer the phone because I was looking for my purse. But the call was my, actually my purse. So long story short, uh, the producer at the radio station agreed to meet us and bring me my purse. So we ended up at a gas station um, to retrieve the purse. When we first pulled up at the gas station, um, I, he was like a younger white guy. He's like he was probably in his 20s. Mm -hmm. I saw, you know, he wasn't nicely dressed. I could tell like either he had, I thought maybe he had been working. You know how you look when you've been working outside all day. And I saw him walk across the gas station and kind of like go towards the door but then I saw that he didn't go in the store. So, of course, I'm watching because he didn't go in the store. You know how people walk up to you and, and stuff at gas stations and stuff, so you got to be careful. So we, my husband backs in the truck to where we can see, you know, we, we backed in at the front of the gas station. I'm still seeing this guy out of my peripheral. I'm seeing him standing there. So I'm kind of watching. Did you see him standing there? Mm -hmm. So anyway, you can go ahead. You want to finish? Yeah, you know, so he was standing there. And, of course, uh, they, you know, uh, the, the radio guy... I don't want to mention his name, but um, so he drives up and pulls up. And, you know, uh, right before he pulls up uh, and stops, this young man comes to me and he says the following. He says, can I wipe your windshield for a dollar? Mind you, it's raining. It's raining. You know, can I wipe your windshield for a dollar? And it was the way he said it. It was so sincere. Very respectful, very sincere. And I wanted to test him. I, it was a test. I said... I said, oh, no, thank you. I'm good. Um, I'm good. I'm good. So he just backs away slowly yeah. and, and stands right back in that position. So I come out and meet the, um, uh, the radio guy. And, you know, we're friends. We know each other. We spoke a little while and he gave me Kelly's purse. And, you know, so I, I bring it to Kelly. And um, I took uh, $5 that was in my wallet. I think it was the only cash I had in my wallet. Because you'd already given the rest of it out. And um, gave it to him. And the moment I came in, I knew that was not going to be enough. So he took the $5 and said, thank you. And then I said, and how so, much did you give him? And then Kelly was like, how much did you give him? I said, you know, it's the only cash I have. So she gives me $40. Uh, and I take that $40. And I said, young man, come over here. And he came. I gave him the $40. And, and we asked him, what are you going to do with this $40? And he didn't hear us the first time. He didn't hear us the first time. So Kelly asked again, so, what hey. are you going to do with the $40? And uh, he looked at us and said, I'm going to get a place where I can sleep and, and, then, and take a shower. And then all of a sudden, this happened. He broke down. I have never seen a young man broke down like that. He got so overwhelmed with tears that I had to come out of my car just to try and give him a hug. And he would not even accept my hug. He was like, he was so crying that he had to literally leave that vicinity and go round back of the house. I chased him back there. I said, whoa, wait, wait. And my husband, and, he's and, crying. And I said, wait, he was just give us some more money. Boiling and <laughs> boiling. And I knew that this young man was coming out of so much pain, you know, deep pain. You could tell he was sincere. You could tell what I was feeling was he was, there were a lot of regrets. Yeah. Regrets. And um, there were a lot of just things. His life, it was almost like his life just flashed before him, mm -hmm. you know, about, you know, I've got to get my life together. I've got to get back on track. And, and so I came in, I told Kelly, I said, this young man can't stop crying. I said, let he me find some more money that. then. So she gives me another Mind $100. Mind you, I wouldn't even have had the money, but the purse made it. See, we wouldn't even have been at this gas station it's had true. I not lost my purse. It's true. Uh, why didn't I make that connection? Just so caught up with too much. Yeah. Yeah. So I got another hundred dollars out. But now that you talk about that. it, that's that's the reason why your purse. Because my purse yeah. was untouched, y'all. I left my purse unzipped. They brought it to me 
Because it's just that little yeah. clutch that I carry. It, you can see the money in the purse, and they just handed me my purse untouched. That's the only reason I even had money, because it was in the purse. So she gives me another $100, and I go right back around, and he was still crying. I gave him that $100. He refused it. He said, $40 is enough. I said, nope, it's not. I said, you're going to need this. I gave him the $100. I said, can I pray for you? And my, my heart just broke, I tell you. Yeah, my heart just broke. And, um, you know, I started praying for him. And I could just see the power of God just come over this young man. And um, I, I, I said, listen, you know, on Saturday, April the 27th, we've got this big event at the stadium. I said, meet me there. Meet me there in that stadium. And I know that God is going to do an amazing work in your heart. And he promised me that he was going to be there. Um, I tell you, you know, when I went back into the car, we sat for a moment, you know, we just paused, trying to take everything in, and it just, you know, you know that you know, but you got these moments when it just dawns on you. Like, oh my God, this is for that, real. You know, there is a need in this world. And stop telling me we don't need money to right. change people. That's Those of saying. you who always critic, you know, no, we don't need this, you have no idea the hurt, the pain. And you can talk, you, you know, you can sell the right things. But if you don't have the means to change them, you, you're not going to change them. Jesus didn't just talk the gospel. Yeah, he showed the gospel. Way. He demonstrated the gospel. When people were hungry, he fed them. That's the gospel, mm -hmm. you know? And so um, I, just, I just, you know, what would have happened if I just told him all about the love of Jesus? With no money. With no this money. Young man was you know, hungry, where he, he, he was hungry. It was sleep. raining. It was chilly. You know, it was a little cold. Yeah. And he, he's barely wearing a, 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 a t-shirt, jacket just a no jacket, you know, and you can tell maybe he hasn't even taken a shower mm -hmm. for, for one week, Yeah. you know? And so, man, we just sat in that car and said, God, God, yeah. send us more people. I mean, just God, send us more people every moment of our lives. The moment we step out of our house, we want the blessing to begin. We'll never shy away from it. We'll never draw back. We'll never clinch. We we'll never cringe, you know, and we want to be a blessing to humanity. Yeah. And, and so the time, we, we've said this a thousand times, you have to be an answer to somebody's prayer. Yeah. You have to be the, the, the solution to somebody's problem. Yeah. And, and if, you, if you are not ready for this mentality mindset, you're always going to have those mentality. naysayers trying to rob you of the blessing of God when we say so, because giving is the way to receive. That's it. I mean, there's no other way around it. And so I'm telling you, it, it rocked so me to my core. When we say things like send this through our cash app, this is what you're actually doing. Like these are gifts that we turn around and we give. It's like the more we give, the more God commands us to give. And let me just add this. We were going to meet the guy from the radio. He suggested a different place. Yes. And I said, no, how about that Shell station? And he was like, well, we can meet. And like twice I said, let's just meet at the Shell station. I'm not knowing that we had a divine appointment last night at the Shell gas station, you know? Mm -hmm. And it was just so weird. I never lay my purse down like that. I always keep up. It was, oh, I've never lost that purse, you know? And for me to just carelessly lose it for like four hours and not even know it was gone. It was just a divine setup. And I'm just so thankful because I used to wouldn't even carry cash. I'm like, no, I have to keep cash because we passed it out. So like I have to keep, so in my mind, I'm like, oh, I had cash in that purse. I was like, well, I hope it's still there. But then in my heart, God was like, it's there because I'm protecting it because I have you on assignment. We're on assignment. And the reason why he only had $5 is because he'd already paid. He had, a, at the beginning of the week, he had an envelope with I don't know how many $100 bills in there. And all week long, he passed them out. All week long. And so we got down to last night and thank God I got my purse back. I went to the bank just to get some cash out. Cause I know we need to, we literally have a ministry of passing out cash. I know that sounds kind of funny, but like for real, it has turned into a full blown ministry of just blessing people where we go. God touches our heart. We know when he does it and we just give it out. And that's part of the detail and the, the character of God being detailed out in your life where people know that had, that young man last night knows that he had an encounter with God. He knows that. And that's what, that's the kind of effect you want to have on people wherever you go. Mm. Amen, baby. All right, so there, here we are. You good? Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. Anything all right, else let in me, your heart? No, let me uh, go ahead and make the altar call. <laughs> um, all right. Uh, can you go ahead and just type in the names of your loved ones? Let's type them in and uh, pray for them. Lift, uh, you know, just type in the name of your loved ones, those who 
are lost, do not know Jesus for now, just type in the names of your loved ones and we're going to lift them up and then we're going to make our altar call. Denise said, God, Denise Dawkins, one of our top fans on Facebook, she said, God, I receive this same generosity upon my life. That Man. is a beautiful prayer. It's, it's something that is very different what we're walking in. And I know mm. that. And I think that's why I've gotten even bolder with saying, you know what's so into this? Because I used to wouldn't dare say stuff like that. Amen. But it's very unique what God has called us to do. I've always been generous, but not like this. And so may that everybody who wants that, if you really want that this morning, like, but you gotta, so a part of that, go ahead and type the name of your loved ones. But a part of walking in this level of generosity is you have to fully understand that what comes to you is not all yours. You have to understand that even when God increases you in wealth, that you're stewarding a lot of it because that's the only way you're going to be able to let it go. Like when we say things like, okay, sow this into us or whatever, or, or whatever we tell you to do, you have to understand they're not, they always ask my money. No, it's not your money. You got to understand like that it's not your money because if you don't have that mentality, God's not going to lift you. You got to be able to say, you know what? Thank you for trusting me to steward this money, but you got to be willing to release it whenever God tells you to release it. Amen. Amen. So type in the name of your loved ones. I have a prayer request here actually from a friend of ours, Juliana, and uh, my brother Renato from uh, Brazil. They, they live in Pennsylvania right now where he's uh, doing a course for the uh, Brazilian Navy. Um, so they said, uh, my youngest son, Sebastian, was diagnosed with pneumonia for the third time since January. Please help us in prayer. We need God's intervention on this and a complete miracle. We barely slept last night with him coughing. So we're just going to lift him up. And so those of you also have loved ones just going through all types of bodily afflictions, just also type in their names. We're going to lift every one of you up right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I just place this miracle cloth on this prayer request right now, using it as a point of yes, contact Lord. for everybody who has a need out there. You're believing God for a miracle in your body. Lord, we lift up yes, Sebastian. Lord. We lift up this young yes, kid. I know this kid. And so, God, we lift up our friends from Brazil. Uh, we lift up this kid and we take our rightful place in Christ right now, seated in heavenly places of authority. We bind yes, Lord. this pneumonia. We in the command name of this Jesus. pneumonia to be completely to dry up out in the of name his of system, Jesus. from his head to his toe. Yes, pneumonia, Lord. You get got to out of in him the in the Jesus. name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. And don't you return yes, that in body. The name of Jesus. You are illegal. You are yes, an illegal yes, entity. Yes. You do not belong get there. The get of out of his system. In the name of the Lord Jesus, and God, we use him as a point of contact for the entire Warrior Nation family, for your children right now who are going through one yes, or two Lord bodily God. afflictions. We command diseases, go, we command sicknesses to, to get Jesus. out of their bodies. Thank you you do not belong there. Yes. We take our healing yes. by force legal right. in the thank name you, of the Lord Jesus, and we thank you for your healing virtue that is flowing right now. Yes, God, let that power flow, heal, and deliver. Yes, Set Lord free God. from top to bottom. We'll be made Made whole. Yes. We decree it and declare it in Jesus' in mighty Jesus name. name. We also pray for your loved ones who yeah. have not given their life to Jesus. We claim we them. Every name up we the decree Lord. and declare for as for you and your house, you will serve God. Yes. And so we declare claiming them for Jesus right now. We break the hold of the wicked one over them. Yes, God, Lord. that the light of the glorious gospel will reach into their hearts. We thank you for the salvation of their souls in Jesus' mighty name. Amen yes. and amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. And if you haven't made Jesus the Lord of your life, pray this simple prayer with us. You just say, Lord Jesus, thank you for going to the cross to die for me. Thank you for shedding your precious blood to wash me from all of my sin. With all of my heart, I believe that God raised you from the yes, dead. Lord. And with my mouth, I confess you yes. as my Lord and as my Savior. I receive the gift of eternal life yes, in Lord. Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. And yes. if you pray that prayer, welcome to the family of God. We're excited for you. You've made the best decision yes. you'll ever make. You're now a bona fide child of God. Let's welcome and in our new family members. Absolutely. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Kindly write us an email at decision at warriorlife.cc. Let us help you start out your new faith in Christ. And make sure to stay tuned to the Warrior Nation, yes. okay? Okay. Did you give me that email? Yes. Okay. Because yes. something was just on my heart. Yes. Okay. The decision, warriorlife.cc, sends yes. an email. I was just going to say... I just hear some people saying, you know what, I really want that level of generosity, like Denise said on, on Facebook a minute ago. Sow into it. You can sow it into us personally to our cash app. I'll give you that information in just a second. 
that God is speaking to some people, and you're like, you know what? I really want to be able to do what they did and what they do. And that's why I'm telling you, <laughs> it is so important to sow into that um, because what you're making happen for us, you make it happen for yourself, but you make it happen for other people. All right. So I just feel like God is speaking to some people this morning. And you're like, I really, this is just for those who really want it. Let me go through the other way first. Several easy ways to invest in the ministry. Thank you for that. Easiest way on Facebook is the blue donate button. Okay. We also have a text giving phone number and don't get out the blessings and the benediction. Our text giving phone number is 601-844-0024. Let's get that back up there again. It ran away. Easiest way on Facebook is the blue donate button. Uh, our text giving phone number is 601, there we go, 844-0024. Our PayPal for the ministry is paypal.me slash warrior nation. Our PO box is PO box 16257, Jackson, Mississippi 39236. The cash app for the ministry is going after the one. And our personal cash app is Kelly Elaine, completely spelled out, K-E-L-L-I-E-E-L-A-N-E. -E -E. Okay, now just put the cash app up. For those who you know God is talking to you and you literally say, I want that. I want to be able to do exactly what they do with my own personal finances. Who I'm not going to tell you an amount, but we gave away last night to this one man $140. If maybe God's telling you to give $140, that's between you and the Lord. But if you know he's spoken to you, because what I got over the last couple of days, there's so many people that says, Kelly, God told me to sow into you before you even said it. He told me to sow into y'all, and he told me that exact amount before you even said it. Because remember, I gave a call uh, two days ago for so many people that were supposed to give $100, and so many were supposed to give 50, and then there were some you supposed to give whatever you can. But so many people confirmed it. And then the second thing is, some of you all said you didn't have cash out. How else can you give it? You can also do Kelly Elaine at iCloud for my PayPal information. I don't know where it is. Can y'all find it? But it's my name completely spelled out, K-E-L-L-I-E-E-L-A-N-E. -E -E -E. Someone wanted to know if they could send it through PayPal. Yes, you can. If you want to send us a check, you can send it to the P.O. Box. But just put our names on it, okay? You can put Kel Sino and Kelly Aguese on the line of the check, and then we can also get it that way. These are personal gifts, and this is what we will continue to use in addition to our own things that we already have to bless. Like, just as we, we have to buy somebody a truck, we have, like, two more assignments to undergird two ministries. So we just have a lot, a lot that God is telling us to do. But what I've learned is the more we pour out, the more God fills us back up. So Kelly Elaine for the cash app, for those who God is moving upon to say, so bless them. I am commanding you to bless them. Follow that and just know that you're also going to be blessed. But that same Kelly Elaine spelled out, you can put it at iCloud.com and send it as a gift through PayPal. Amen. Man, man. You good, baby? Anything I'm you want to say? I'm good. You sure? Yeah. Okay. All right. So with that being said, remember today, is, tomorrow's our birthday at the store, and we're doing a, a deal until 10 a.m. today, Central Time, where you can save 30% on your entire order if you only spend $100, okay? And the code is BIRTHDAY. BIRTHDAY, because tomorrow I'll wear your apparel turns. Two years old. Very excited yeah. about that. Yeah. Next Friday, we'll see you what, next we, Saturday. We don't, we don't have that commercial on um, the, the Unite thing just to close it out. If they can find it, see if they can find the, it over the, there. The, the, vision, the vision one I have. Do we have the, the vision one? Yeah, the yeah. original one we used to play. So just, while they're finding that, let me finish this. Yes. Okay, where was I? Oh, our birthday <laughs> sale. And then next Saturday, we'll be in Atlanta for Empire VIP. We're excited. Several of y'all, many of y'all have signed up. We'll be seeing you, but we're also offering, we're going to offer to sit down with you the Sunday following SOS, which will be June 2nd. For those who want to sit down with us for a coaching and counseling session, you can also email my sister Phyllis, pbailey at kellylane.org. You're, while you're already here in Mississippi, you want to sit down with us, we're going to sit down with you if you want to do that as a one-on-one -on, -one on Sunday morning. Uh, we're open to that as well. You can just email Phyllis and we can set you up for your appointment for small groups or one-on-one, -on -one, okay? While you're already here, let's take advantage of that weekend. Don't forget Night of Miracles VIP. We're still offering that. Please sign up for the School of Supernatural. It's only $99. There's an event in Facebook that you can click for that. And then if you're interested in sitting down with us one-on-one, -on -one, email Phyllis P. Bailey at kellylane.org and we'll schedule your one-on-one -on -one with us or your small group session with us for the Sunday following Night of Miracles and SOS. All right? And that's just going to be our Empire VIP here in Mississippi. So we'll be doing all that. A very busy weekend. Very busy weekend. Okay. Did I get everything out? think so. All right. Are you doing any merchandise today? Or oh, I doing... forgot. Y'all go to the store and get some stuff. Y'all already know we got a lot of stuff over there. <laughs> Take advantage of it. Just It's a lot. Just go check it out. Y'all know we got a lot of amazing things. Make sure you get the shirts that we're wearing. You can get your shirt on sale this morning. It's for the Night of Miracles. We want everybody to get the shirt. The sound of heaven touching earth. Maybe I like when you hold up shirts. It's cute. All right. So I'm holding up shirt because she thinks it's cute. All right. Here we go. The release of the supernatural. Yes. Isaiah. That's what we want. Isaiah 8.18. Do you know what Isaiah 8.18 says? It says, for the children you have given me, they are for signs and for wonders, 
So you're for signs and for wonders. Wow, this Giant feels... Giant slaying, Jesus wow, loving, praying, feels, mama. You really like how good. it feels, Yeah, what material is that? It's tri -blend. It's a mixture of oh, things. Oh, tri -blend, a mixture of... <laughs> Giant slaying, Jesus loving, praying, mama. Say it again, babe. I like how you say Giant it. Giant slaying, Jesus loving, praying, mama. Giant <laughs> slaying, Jesus loving, praying, mama. Praying, mama, man. I would, you know, my mom has gone to be with the Lord, if not... Mine um, too. Oh, yeah, my, my stepmom is still around. So, is she? Oh, yeah. We need maybe, to send her maybe I get a send to, to the, to the She's UK. literally my mom. She's not even my step. Yeah. You know, she, I call her mom. So, what? Huh? Oh, it'll be there in a second. Oh, it'll Are be there in a second. There oh, look what we did. Oh. Look what we did. Look what we did. You like wow, that? Wow, oh. I've never seen this one. This oh, is new. this it's is bling. nice. M633, Matthew 633. Seek ye first. The kingdom of God. Yeah, okay, baby. Right. No, baby, no. No. Okay, y'all. And, and, and a lot of other things. Listen, while you're there, get this prayer call. Send it to everybody you know that's in need of prayer. Yes. All right? And keep I on believe for yourself. In miracles. All right? All right. So that's it. You got the video? Okay. We're going to end it with this video. Please pray for us. Meet me here tonight. I might pop up a little bit later, but meet yeah. me here tonight at about 7 o'clock Central Time yes. as I leave. Prayer tonight in the stadium, okay? In the stadium, okay? I need y'all to help me do that, all right? And then Saturday, she's going to be addressing the whole online audience. We're expecting a lot of people to watch this event online. All yes. right, so help us share it on your live feed, yes, okay? Yes, please. Please. Love you guys. Once it comes on, share, share, share. Yeah, and share all this right. video, share okay? Share this video. All right, love, love y'all. See you later. See you later. Some say that our nation is more divided now than it's ever been in decades. Others are saying that there's a lot of hopelessness, confusion, and many seeking for the meaning of life. Under such circumstances, it's easy to find an scapegoat, to blame the establishment, or to even blame oneself. We know what the vices are. We also know what the challenges are. But what if we came together as one family, to address the systemic issues in our nation. America as a nation has always been known for its resilience. And it's in times like this that we rise up as one family and it's not about black or white or Hispanic. United under God to address the issues that we're facing. What if I told you that we can do the impossible? And sometimes doing the impossible is not in the big things, it's just even in the small things. In Mississippi, something really amazing is happening. Out of this little cabin in Brandon, Mississippi has evolved something that can only be termed as a move of God. On November the 29th, 2016, several pastors and community leaders came together and we cried out for revival we cried out for a move of god and it seems to me god has answered that prayer for the first time in a long time over 60,000 people in collaboration with 8,000 churches are coming together at the jackson memorial stadium to showcase the greatest unity we've ever experienced in our state and i'm telling you this has the power to literally shift the landscape of our state but also send a shockwave through the nation as a whole. And who would have thought of this? That out of Mississippi, something like this can emerge. I'm telling you, people are coming together right now from all works of life. They're thinking of, how can I make a difference? How can we address the systemic issues within our cities? It's bringing the churches together, the pastors together, the leaders together. And we are saying in one voice, in one sound that Jesus truly be glorified. I'm so excited about what God is doing. And I'm telling you, you ought to get excited too. This may be an opportunity of a lifetime, and we cannot afford to miss this moment. I'm telling you on that day, we're going to live stream this to over a hundred nations from across the world. It seems to me like God is putting Mississippi on the map. We're going to also live stream this to every state and federal prison in the state. And lives are going to be changed. You cannot afford to miss it. You cannot afford not to want to be a part of a, a moment that has the power to literally change a state for the better. 
And so, we're asking you to come alongside us, to stand with us, because Mississippi belongs to all of us. And it's going to take all of us coming together to make a significant difference in this state. Thank you for your time. God bless.